Uh, how do you think the film scoring industry will be after uh, the pandemic is over? And what should young composers be doing to prepare for these changes? Um, they should be, I think it'll be the same. I don't think it'll be different at all. Um, the only question is, you know, how many musicians we will have lost through this. This is the worry is that, you know, it's devastating that side of the industry. For the young composers, I, I, I'd say the thing you have to do as well is assume that you won't get as much time with an orchestra perhaps in the future uh, and try and figure out how to write without orchestra, you know, more effectively. Um, right. But mainly just, you know, assume that everybody has been home writing film scores. I mean, literally almost half the world probably has discovered garage band and can write film scores. So you're going to have to think a bit better than, you know, oh, this sounds a bit like John Williams or this sounds a bit like Hans. Um, you know, I'm not impressed by that at all. I mean, you just have to sound like something that I've never heard of mm. or heard even remotely of. Right. And then whether I like it or not, I mean, you know, people are going to come and they're going to write, you know, some are going to write some amazing music that I would have never thought of myself and I'll be incredibly jealous, but I'll be pleased. Uh, and then 90% of film scores and TV music is going to be bullshit that anybody could have written. And the question for anybody coming up in this industry is, you know, if you listen to very, very poor music that is getting by a composer who's getting a gig, it, it's, it's very hard for me to say to you, you, you know, you should write better because apparently that's what's needed. But right. if you think about it, how do you get to the point? How do you jump that queue? And if you know that this, this music is not very good and there's a load of people who are already doing it. And so now let's assume now that we've got 100,000 people in front of you who can write mediocre music that would work fine for TV. Well, congratulations, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna jump that queue? I mean, my thing would be, don't sound like that. Sound like something that nobody's ever heard before because for every, you know, nine projects that do sound like everybody else, there's always one that will get you the gig that where they don't want you to sound like that. And that one is what will get you ahead. And then you can start writing really boring, dull, mediocre music for all the other things once you've got a name for yourself. But try and jump the queue by writing more interesting and more intriguing and more potent music than, than you certainly hear on TV. Yeah, you know. absolutely.